Welcome to the premiere of Demo Theater. Um, my first demo as part of the series will be You Don't Know Jack. You Don't Know Jack is a trivia game that can give you any bizarre question it has in its, in its test, in its banks. And you, you might think you're, you're a trivia buff before you play this game, and you'll find out you don't know a lot. You don't know a lot that's in that's in this game, and it explains to you why that it is. Uh, here, here is the instructions for the game. Great, let me get to the crux of the mantle then. You'll see a whole slaw of questions, and when you obfuscate the correct answer, press the button next to it. There is a clock counting down your time, so if you buzz in fourth with, the more Sonorians you'll win. Or surrender. Okay, you're ready on set. Well, player one, it seems like you directed uh, to the You can make your, uh, your in name or allow them to choose your, your name. Uh, most of the time, they're, it's some kind of comical name. The game is very, yeah, very, very comical. As long as, as, as yeah. yeah. It's as comical as it is, um, trivial. Mm. Couldn't find a partner? Jeez, kinda like a metaphor. Mm, no, we're about to start the game. Each, each episode of the game has a wrong answer to the game, which is sponsored by a fake company. I've never found the wrong answer of the game this episode, or the other two episodes on the demo. Uh, the game has three rounds. With ten questions plus okay, the third started, round. Or Angelina. Ah! <laughs> what might Angelina Jolie scream if she accidentally tumbled into a Brad Pitt? Ah, nails! Ah, snus! Ah, boiling! Oil. Or ah, sausages! Brad's are small, thin nails. But I'm sure she's pretty used to getting nailed by small, thin things, right, Brad? Oh, snap! Here's one I like to call the capital of China is Bidi 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 uh Peking. Considering the animals in the Chinese zodiac, which Looney Tunes character could definitely not pose for a Chinese calendar? Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Porky Pig, Foghorn Leghorn. Nope, no duck on the Chinese calendar, only on a Chinese menu. And please, when ordering the Daffy Duck, call ahead 24 hours in advance. Thank you. This game has... Uh, you'll Take deal a with one or two mini-games inside the game. Well, poop, Just that. like this or that. I'm gonna read off seven names. For each one, tell me if it's... The name of a classic juggling trick, or... A slang term for diarrhea. If it's a juggling trick, press the square button. If it's diarrhea slang, press your circle button. Each one right gets you 300 bucks. How about the annual salary of a professional juggler? But get one wrong and 300 gets flushed. You've got 30 seconds before the dam breaks. Cool, let's do it. Rubenstein's Revenge. Montezuma's Revenge. Reverse Cascade, Boston Mess, Hershey Sports, Georgian Shuffle, The Trox. Wow, you really got on a runs there. I do a little extra money for half fast to answer these questions. Excuse me. This one's known as 
Does this torch make me look fat? According to the body mass index, which takes into account your height and your weight, how is the Statue of Liberty doing weight-wise? She's underweight, she's perfectly healthy, she's overweight, or she's morbidly obese. With a BMI of nearly 200, the Statue of Liberty is super crazy ultra- uh, the, super morbidly the obese. controller can dis but disconnect it from the charger for a minute. And on its way, Gandolphin the Grey. So, you know how all the incredibly long Lord of the Rings movies were shot in New Zealand? Well, considering which animal outnumbers humans 12 to 1 in New Zealand, which sequel would be easiest to cast? The Fellow Sheep of the Ring, The Two Cowers, Return of the King Cobra, or The Hogbit? New Zealand has far more sheep than people. So it'd also be a sweet place to shoot a sequel to Silence of the Lambs. That'll bring an end to our first round. And now we move and on to round two. So where, where the Remember, <laughs> money is doubled. And remember, the, and the round two game, game is still in play. Let's get back to the action. Next up, don't go crying for mommy. Oh yeah, you know I'm all that. You know I got what you want. Oh yeah. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Your great-grandfather's grandson's uncle's brother? Your brother's mother's grandmother's great-great-grandson? Your cousin's mother's uncle's sister's grandmother? Or your uncle's sister's mother's son? Okay, good luck on that one. Your uncle's sister would be your aunt. This was your your grandmother, his son no, would be your dad. the hardest question I've ever seen. Well, from what I hear, he's just one of many that could be your dad. I'm just saying. I've heard things. Try this on for size. Eggs make me toot toot. Which eggy breakfast would give Popeye the Sailor the most strength? Eggs Florentine, Eggs Benedict, Egg McMuffin, or Huevos Rancheros? Popeye is strong to the finish because he eats his spinach. And Eggs Florentine is the only dish here with spinach as an ingredient. He's also known to get a lift when he tastes a little olive oil. Oh, didn't she get it taken out of me? Say hello to, I only eat organic junk food. People say I don't eat healthy, but I do eat a lot of ketchup, which is technically a vegetable. So I've been thinking about the rest of my diet and how I could make it sound more healthy. Suppose candy were classified as fruits based on its physical characteristics. Which of these candies would be considered a droop? Lifesavers, snow caps, gummy worms, or peanut M&Ms? In botany, a droop is a fruit with a fleshy outside and a hard pit inside, like a cherry, peach, plum, etc. So a peanut M&M would resemble a droop with its chocolatey outside and crunchy peanut pit. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, I love fruit. Here's a good one. If you may can do attitude. How would Bob Marley describe the philosophical concept known as monism? Hey man, we're all one big man man. Every man in the world is unique from every other man. Everyone in the world is either one man or this other man. Or there's one in the world man. Monism is the belief that, like the song, one life, one love, basically everything is one thing. And if we're all the same person, then clearly I didn't steal that car. It was already my car, if you think about it. <laughs> Up next, Triple X. In order, which of the following is a hairless cat, a tailless cat, and just a big cat with both hair and a tail? Sphinx, Lynx, Manx, Manx, Sphinx, Lynx, Sphinx, Manx, Lynx, or Lynx, Sphinx, Manx? Sphinx cats have no hair, most Manx cats have no tails, and Lynxes are your standard wild cats. 
Sorry, saying all those X's made my throat all. Now it's round three in the jack attack. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. Four thousand bucks if you're right, but you'll lose four thousand if you're wrong. And one more thing. Yeah, it's gotta be a match that fits this clue. The not so pearly gates. Just hope you never get caught in a scandal. Until then, I had not known what um the, what the answer for Katrina Gate was. And now we're to the end, and the, the final score is forty-one thousand a thousand four hundred and seventy-seven dollars. Um, I I highly recommend this game to any kind of trivia bot uh, that loves to learn and be be able to find out why something is the right something is right versus trying uh, having to look it up themselves after they've answered the question and got it wrong. Um, yeah, that's, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's very fun, uh, very fun. Um, yeah, highly recommend it. Um, you'll, ha you'll have a lot of fun. Um, and that's the end of the premiere and thank you and I hope you watch watch more.